Hey Sniggity Snacks, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time joining us, welcome to my channel. I am Sniggywe, mother of the snacks. Today's video, as you can tell from the title, is a summer must-haves slash favorites. Favorites videos are like a YouTube cult series, you know, like it's like making playlist videos. It's like making a what's in my hand rag when you first join YouTube, get to know me tags. Favorites, I feel like, are one of those things where it's like, they used to be done so much back in the day, like when YouTube was still not a thing as much as it is now. Um, but people kind of just stopped. I don't know why. So I was like, let's let's bring it back. Let's do the damn things, okay? This video also is in collaboration with Karma. If you're not new to this channel, you should already know what I'm talking about. Karma is an app or a Google Chrome extension which helps you never miss a price drop or a coupon code. Click the link in my description box to check it out. So the categories which we will be going through today are fashion, beauty, and music. I feel like adding music because I feel like it's not a lot of people that do that with favorites, you know? So that's what we're gonna be going through. We're gonna be going through my favorites and must-haves for the summer. And this is definitely where karma comes in because it makes sure that I don't have to spend full price when it's not necessary. In the past, I've been using karma for um, my home, especially because that's what I was really buying a lot. And I've also used it for um, clothes. In the now, I have also expanded my horizons and I've created more lists to add to my karma profile and I've been adding my beauty favorites onto there as well. And as you know, it is November, which means we are very, very close to Black Friday Mshiga Shigas Piti Piti. I feel like having your own karma profile during this time especially is so, so good because it'll help you keep organized with what discounts are coming in from where and which department and how much they're going to cost so that you don't get your head mixed up and end up getting things that you don't actually need and also save money on things that you do need. What you wanna do is download the extension or get the app if you want, but the download link will be in my description box for you to get the extension onto your Google Chrome. And once you've added it, it shows up at the top of your browser, like on any website that you're on. And if there are coupons to be found and items to be saved, the, the, the little comma button will pop up so that you are able to do that easily. If it doesn't, you can obviously just click on it yourself as well. You can shop on any website and save items onto your comma profile. And whenever you do save an item, you can set your notifications to receive um, an alert when that item is at a discounted price from when you saved it. You can get these notifications either via email or SMS and you can also get notified for when there are specific coupon codes that are available for that website. So as I mentioned earlier as well, it's pity pity. You don't want that. So Karma has made it so much easier for us to shop properly and efficiently by making it possible to save your items into specific lists. If you are a beauty person and you also want clothes and you're also a gamer, etc, etc, you can save the, thing, the different things that you see on different websites into those specific lists. In case I didn't make it clear, you don't only get discounts on specific items, you also get coupon codes on the whole website. So if a coupon code is available, Karma automatically scans the website and checks them all out for you to see what is working and what is not at that current time. And then it'll apply it automatically at checkout for you to save, not just on a specific item, but on your entire order as well. I mean, if it applies anyways. But this feature does only work on Google Chrome on your laptop or desktop, so definitely get the extension. And lastly, but definitely not the least important, you can get cash back if you shop for from specific comma retail stores and that cash bag is also matched and goes towards a good cause. So I hope that everything that I've explained isn't too much or too confusing. If anything, just click the link in my description box and download the extension to have the button on your browser. You'll see the rest as you go. <laughs> and you have nothing to lose because it's free, but it'll also help you save money as well. So the first category I'm gonna be doing is beauty. Sorry, beauty. Beauty, it's mostly skincare in here, but I suppose skincare goes under beauty, right? So first up, we have this beauty right here. This is the MAC setting spray. This is the one that I'm currently using. Um, and this is my new one. MAC has since expanded their range and they have like matte sprays, they have gold light sprays, they have lavender sprays, etc., etc. 
I just have the original and I feel like the original really really works for me especially in the summertime when I don't want my makeup to sweat off because one thing about me I'll sweat I will sweat this one I feel is matte enough to keep my makeup not moving what why can't I speak this one is matte enough to make sure that my makeup doesn't move or smudge tra or transfer throughout the day but it also does not dry me out because I do have very dry skin so if you're not someone with dry skin and maybe you have like oily skin you could probably try the matte one I personally have never used it so I can't say too much about that because I do have dry skin but for all my dry skin girlies this works and it doesn't dry your skin out but it keeps your makeup matte and looking good the whole day i literally guys ever since the ever since spring began and like we've had warmer days people look at me and they're like how is your makeup still matte like how has it lasted so long because i'll literally be like yo guys i'm so hot i'm sweating i'm dying i'm dying and then they'll look at my face and they're like no you're not <laughs> So I definitely owe that to this baby right here. Up next, we have a generational favorite. And I say generational because the only reason I use this product is because of my mom. This is the Moisturizing Body Oil by Palmer's. Um, it is a cocoa butter formula with a vitamin E. It's for bath, body, and shower. And it instantly relieves dry skin for 24 hour moisture, period. So. For bath, you can put this in your bathtub and have a more moisturizing bath um, experience so that you don't come out feeling very dry, especially if you're gonna take a long bath. For shower, I'm not too sure because I've never used it in the shower, but I'm assuming you probably mix it in with your um, shower gel as well. And then for body, just in general, as a lotion kind of, I like to use this while my skin is kind of still damp, even with water droplets on it, so that it, the water actually locks into my skin and then I'm hydrated. If you've watched one of my Vogue videos, you know exactly what I'm talking about, okay? Um, but yeah, so I find that this works really well when you're still damp, um, so that it doesn't just sit on top of your skin and actually moisturizes you. I also do like this just before i'm about to take photos somewhere and i want my legs or my my chest or my arms to be super shiny and i'm in the sun or it's at night time gee and i just want to i, I want to be that glowy shiny baby okay this is very very good for that especially because it's not just an oil that sits on top of your skin i know people i'm not naming names who use olive oil like the olive oil straight from the kitchen and i'm just like that's cute and all but does it have vitamin e does it have moisturizing nourishing properties? No. So use Palmer's people. Get some moisturizing body oil right now. Okay. Yeah. So for me, this is very much a multi-purpose uh, oil. And also it does absorb very fast into your body. So you don't have to worry about it transferring onto your clothes when you get dressed. I mean, I wouldn't get dressed immediately, immediately. But just give it some time. It'll sit down and dry. And then you won't worry about it transferring onto your clothes. So I went through this journey of unlearning and learning when I discovered that just because I have oily skin on my face doesn't mean that my skin is hydrated. Um, because again, I do have dry skin, I've got eczema, so I need hydration. So oil and water, not the same thing, right? So I was lingering my face hydration because i was so scared that oil was going to build up and ever since i learned the difference i haven't been having extremely oily skin or like oily skin moments the product that saved me is this baby right here is this the right this baby right here um neutrogena hydro boost gel cream now i do use the whole range because it's freaking amazing but if I were to tell you to get one thing from the range it would definitely be the gel cream be careful not to get the water gel because they are packaged the same and they look the same in their containers as well but just check the writing and make sure that you get the gel cream because the gel cream is thicker the water gel is giving very much serum I think the water gel would work if you're in a more humid climate like Durban for example but like yeah in Joburg definitely get this one this stuff my skin drinks her up drinks her up and it's like a guys i don't even know how to explain it's like literally hydration <laughs> you know that that glow from within that's what this stuff does for you okay i don't believe it has any like um targeting 
benefits so like if you have problematic skin acne prone skin and things like that you want to get rid of scarring i don't think it really does that i just think it improves the quality of your skin so much so i definitely would say if you're someone who has other problems with their skin use this with other things as well on days where i'm lazy i can even skip serum and just go straight to this because it's that thick and that moisturizing and that good but it doesn't feel oily and sticky on your face it literally just goes right in. when i tell you it drinks it in you guys you're not hearing me you guys are not hearing me rats 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 so my next favorite which has been a favorite pretty much all my life uh if you've watched i think like the one of the first few videos I ever made on this channel, which was skincare routine uh, for face and body, I spoke about this, and this is my exfoliating gloves. If you're not onto these yet, I don't know what to tell you. These are so good for getting rid of dead skin and making sure that whatever product you're hydrating your body with actually penetrates and hydrates you and does its job because there's no dead skin layer to sort of cause a barrier. I've seen people say that they use these like three times a week. To be honest, I use them bigger and bigger every day. Um, and I feel like that's why even if I'm not using a body oil or th something like that, the products on my skin still give me that glow from within type of look because they're able to actually hydrate me and do what they gotta do, right? And also these are really good because if you're not someone who wants to sort of buy multiple products, i.e. scrubs, body scrubs, then you can just have these and use them with any soap that you use, especially if you're someone who can't just use any, other, any products that they feel like under the sun. Um, these are good because you can use them with the soap that works for you or whatever product works for you to shower with or bath with but they still do exfoliate you so well I'm gonna I'm gonna insert a picture of what I mean when I say like the products on my skin sit so well because there's no dead skin on my body and the products are able to work because all honestly all I use is the Vaseline for extremely dry skin that's literally it. But it looks like I've got some body shimmer situation going on. It's because I exfoliate. It's because I exfoliate. Word. Would it be summer if I did not mention this product? I mean, you should be using it all the time, but especially in summer. Next up, we have sunscreen. And I specifically chose this one, you guys, because I have never in my 23 years of life ever used a sunscreen that did not leave a purple cast on my face and made me feel like I was wearing a mask. This literally sinks into your skin and it looks so good. It looks so, so good. And it's also protecting your skin. SPF 50. Guys, I was introduced to this by Von Guy when she did the campaign for it and I was like, you know what? If she's saying, and she's a dark skin girl, I'ma believe her. And then I went, and lo and behold, I bought the stuff is the truth. Guys, believe me. Yeah, so it claims to have shine control. On the box, it also does say that it helps um, fight hyperpigmentation. So I am someone who does have hyperpigmentation as well. So I find that this is really good for me. Very good product and a very good price point as well. So I highly, highly, highly do recommend this, especially right now in the summertime. But honestly, 365 literally always wear sunscreen guys seriously the last beauty product that i have is a perfume which it's a zara perfume and i feel like these like you either got it or you don't okay some people have very good experience with zara perfumes and other people don't and obviously this just depends on your body's natural scent and how well it accepts other scents being added i suppose um but this one Gourmand Addict, I think I'm saying that right, Gourmand, yeah, Gourmand Addict, it's just, my goodness, hey bo, wow, you know I'm not delayed though, um, yeah, I've, I've had this since, I think, end of last year, and it's lasted me until now, I mostly do like using it in the summer, so that's why I still have quite a bit, but also, um, I do also rotate perfumes as well. So, yeah, but my point is, look at how full it still is, okay, guys. And I do use it because it is kind of my favorite perfume. Like it's it's in my top five, top three maybe. 
So, Iyathala and Iyasebenta. And when I tell you, like, I will go to sleep in a different top after having sprayed it on my body, of course. Which, by the way, I always spray my perfumes on my body because I don't like, I, I don't care to check if something is oil based or not. So, I just would rather not take the risk and not spray my clothes. Um, so, I just spray them on my body and I feel that, that it lasts longer that way, anyways. So, anyways, I was saying, I will spray this on me. For the day whatever go out come back home change into like pajamas wake up sleep and smell it on my pillow the next day i that's on life that's on life ma i don't know how to describe this i'm going to try and find the notes um and put them on the screen because you guys know you know what i'm gonna say it smells like if you know comment down below before i say it it smells expensive <laughs> Nah, but for real though, it's giving grown woman, it's giving I know what I want with my life, it's giving I have a to-do list, and an Alma BB. Naturally, because it's me and this is what I stand for, we have fashion coming up next. So first things first, on my fashion must-haves, we have Yeezy slides. Now. I don't have the real Yeezy slides and I don't care to have them anymore because so many people have made dupes for us. It's just like, how do you, how do you know that they're not real? Or how do you know that they are? And like, who cares? Anyways, <laughs> it's really just for me, the comfortability of this shoe. Because wow, wow, these are so comfortable. I will literally wear them every single time with every single outfit for any single occasion. Okay, not, not every occasion. But like, if there's a chance for me to wear these, I will wear them. Mr. Price is the first retailer in South Africa, I think, to ever make the dupe and like make it available for us because this is the first place I ever got them. And the colorway is just so good. Also, side note, I'm very embarrassed about how dirty these are because really I could just wipe them down because the material is, it allows for that. But I just don't. And every single time a pair gets dirty, I'm like, hmm. I should just buy a new pair. My next pair is these ones, these green ones, which the Fix actually kindly gifted me these um, when they dropped their version of them. And again, obsessed, wore these to death before I got the pair that I'm about to show you now. They're also very dirty. I have no excuses, I have none. And lastly, my current favorite pair, which Okay, I have an excuse for these because the color that they are makes them very prone to getting dirty, okay? This colorway is stunning, you guys. These are so good and they go with literally everything. Well, in my wardrobe anyways. But the maintenance is so annoying because basically every time after you finish wearing them, you have to wipe them down. That's so annoying. But I don't mean to bring up all the bad things about the shoes, damn. Um, <laughs> They're so comfortable. The reason that they even get this dirty is because I wear them so much. When I'm running errands, when I'm going to the movies, when I'm going to the mall, when I'm going to go sit at the bank. Literally, if there's a chance for me to wear these shoes, I will wear them. And especially in the summertime because obviously your feet are not going to get cold and they're not like tight. Um, like they don't make your feet sweat. So they're also good in that you will have air and your toes will be able to breathe as well. And most importantly, they're super comfortable. They're so comfortable. I highly recommend these if you can get your hands on them still because at Cotton On, they're selling out so fast. Next we have, I think probably my favorite find this season, which is these crew neck tees, but they're from Cotton On and they're giving very much Skims tees, okay? So this is what they look like. Okay, um, they are ribbed so it does make them a little more casual than you know the Skims ones are because the Skims ones aren't um, But it's very thin tiny ribs. So what well, not ribs ribbing <laughs> It's very thin ribbing so you can't really tell unless you're really close to someone or Unless I'm just really blind as well Damn. Um, But yeah, these are very very good quality very good fits as well Oh, they're giving everything and the color palette that they have going on in the store so so good They have nudes. They have black white. They have this other blue one that I also have. Oh, I love them. I'm gonna go get all of them 
every single time I've worn them on my Instagram and I post on my stories, someone asks me where they're from. Okay, next up is shoes again, again. Um, but this time we have heels. These are also from Cotton On and I just had to put these in here because they're giving very much hot girl summer. I love a strappy belly their shoe, but most importantly, strappy shoes that don't hurt my foot are a very rare occurrence, right? Because I have wide feet, like literally when I put my foot down, this is what my foot looks like. So when a shoe doesn't constrict my toes too much, that's a win for me and these are definitely that shoe. So the heel also isn't too high. This is a perfect going out shoe. Um, I say this because I've been out in it and because the heel isn't so high, it doesn't put a lot of pressure on the front part of your foot, which means the bands are also not under a lot of pressure. So basically it's a comfortable shoe all right. I definitely think those are worth the buy because they are also good quality. Um, but more than anything, I just feel like they'll be good with any sort of look that you're trying to go for in the summertime where you have to wear heels so like your shorts denim shorts um long skirts summer dresses whatever the vibes are i feel like those shoes are gonna work for it and then lastly under the fashion department we have something that i'm wearing right now which is chunky jewelry i am obsessed i'm obsessed Ch i'm obsessed even these earrings surely these qualify as chunky because they're huge but basically, I've always been a fan of jewelry in general, but I feel like I've sort of moved away from the dainty style. And I think that's just fashion in general right now. We've moved away from the dainty pieces and we're going more into the chunky style of jewelry, um, which I'm obsessed with as well. This necklace is from Bali Buys, which I don't think she'll be restocking them anymore, but I will try to find alternatives for you guys and put that in the description box. Um, as well as this bracelet as well which matches the necklace I have two of these and they're just amazing they look so good with everything this one I got from Lovisa um, which it should still be there because this is quite a classic piece and a classic size I like this one because even though it is sold as a bracelet, I feel like it's a good size for my ankle as well. So I do wear it as an anklet most of the time. It's a nice chunky size for the anklet, but not being overly chunky. Like imagine if I wore this on my anklet, that would be kind of, it would be cute kinda. No, it would be cute, it would be a moment. But this one works really, really well as well. And then obviously if you watch my last haul, you will know about these bracelets, these bangles. Um, yeah, these are bangles. These bangles, I have four of them. They're giving everything. And I have since expanded my collection of these bangles. Not these ones specifically, but bangles that are like this. Uh, because they really are truly the vibe right now. And as I was saying before, earrings as well. I feel like these are, these could kind of count as a chunky earring. Or maybe let me not say chunky, but let me say statement. So let's say statement slash chunky jewelry. Check out Lovisa for these, um, but if you ever need to look for them, uh, just search up bamboo earrings. And lastly, we have my music favorites, which my first music favorite for the summertime is Adiwele by Young Stunner. This song, I mean, if you're South African, actually, even if you're not South African, you already know what the vibes are with this song. <laughs> We love a piano takeover. Thank you so much. Proudly South African for the first time ever in my life. <laughs> the next song is Need to Know by Doja Cat. And to be honest, Planet Her as a whole is definitely worth a listen. But this one has definitely left a mark on me. Um, and it just keeps ringing in my ear. And I feel like, you know, when I'm driving, the window's down, the breeze is blowing. I'm just like, baby, I need to know. Ooh. My last favorite song for the summertime is Don't Play by Des Dior. I feel like this song did not get the hype that it deserved. This song is so up. Can you imagine being in the car with your mates and you guys are there? Mm, mm, I don't play when I sit out, but I'm rich, rich. Oh, what she saying? Money too loud. I missed it. Dior, now who are you? Huh? 
clone into a who. I said I'm the one, not the two. I went playing when I said I was a rich. Oh, what she said. Oh my gosh. Nah, stop sleeping on this deal, guys. So that is it. That is all my current summer favorites slash summer must haves. If you guys have anything on this list that you've already tried out, do let me know in the comment section. If there's something that you're gonna try out because of my recommendation, let me know in the comment section as well. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Oh, and also let me know if you liked this kind of sit down sort of video. Don't forget to check out the link in the description box to download the free comma extension for your browser. And most importantly, do not forget to subscribe, okay? Thank you all so, so, so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Question, tell me what you think about me. I'm a diamonds in a by my own rings. Only when you